Hello, welcome to Expat American. I am the Expat American, here with my half Russian, half American son, and my half Russian, half American baby who's wandering out of frame. Would you like to see Russia a hundred years ago? So, Christoph, this is meal stuff, right? Lunch and dinner. Nice, Pavel, nice. Christoph, this is from a time that is over 100 years ago. Молодец, Кристоф. Начали! Давай сильней! Сильней! Стоп! Кто не может стать грудью на защиту Родины? Молодец, Кристоф! Christoph, you're scaring me. You're scaring all the Western subscribers. It's British. The trem the it's British? Okay, no, no, no. You made you just made them feel more comfortable. Sorry. <laughs> You can see the British flag in the Scottish, Scottish part of the tradition. Christoph and Maxime and I are headed to a costumed event. We haven't been here yet. We don't know what it's going to look like. We just heard about it. Yeah, Zamek. It's uh, not a castle. It is a church. How do you say church, Christoph? Zerkov. And we're going to go see what this is like. That's the name of the park, I believe, that we're in, or the neighborhood. And I actually love going to costumed events because, it, you know, like something that's a, back in time, like a period piece, like you're headed back in time. Uh, same reason why I like seeing old movies uh, it's like time travel and uh, to go to an event where people are dressed the right way and uh, have authentic items from that time period. It's just a very cool experience in my opinion. Oh yeah, it's a map of the park. Look at this, Kristoff. These are the animals that they have, the wild animals that are in this park. These are the old machines, the old cars that they have on display here. I remind you, we are in Russia. Do these cars look scary? 
Is Russia a scary place? Pavel, you're an expert in all things car related, correct? Even the old things, only old things. Well, well new things too, right? <laughs> so tell us something interesting. This is very old things, very old car for... Uh, you know for. <laughs> Yes, we know what for. Yeah, what for. Uh, you know, like Good job. in uh, early Russian state before the Soviet Union was created. Yes, exactly. Uh, yes, there was no such thing as the car industry in Russia. Only maybe the Rusobalt factory that can produce like many things, many cars. And most of them, if not all of them, are imported and was uh, partly produced in Russia, but mostly in other countries and bought ah, by the government. So they're a part of Russian history, but not created in a Russian yes, factory. Yes, yes. Uh, the first one in this row is the Rusobal type car. This is not the real cars, it's uh, newly built. It's oh, so these are models? Models, yes. Made of the gas, gas type of engine suspension axles everything is transfer cases from the modern not very modern but like middle of the previous century cars. so they probably just drag these things in they're not functional functional they are functional they are you can see the fiat label fiat italian car i like this one christoph i think it matches your outfit this is not electrical this is a gas Gas light. A gas light? Yeah. You're yeah. not gaslighting me, yeah, are you? This is exhaust. And this is the where the fire. Wow, that's <laughs> very interesting. A samovar is expired technology, would you say? Or or is it still the only way to make this is a correct Russian way. drinks a certain way? <laughs> and this is a correct way how to like, start the fire. You pump okay. it with your boot? Yes. Oh no! Uh oh, what happened? Oh, it almost fell down. Oh, okay. Is it still the only way to make the Russian drink correctly? <laughs> no, it's not the only way. You can use the electric heater if you want, but it's like... So it's not really used anymore except for reminiscing. No, it's used. Why not? You can use it. You can buy the samovar in Tula easily. You can buy it in most shops. But you have to have a high leather boot to pump it. Yes, it, you can do it other way, but this is intended to use by, by to pump it with your boot. <laughs> Are you able to simply describe how it works? What works? The samovar. How it works is just a pipe uh, that heat it up with the fire beneath it and a big uh, pot. Uh, and what's the boot for? Uh, just to add the oxygen to start the fire. And that is for people to... Uh, to guard the border. Yes, right. I was thinking of how to say it carefully. Pavel, does Russia have doctors and nurses? No, no, of course not. Everyone can heal himself. <laughs> like a cosmonaut. Yes. The spacemen. Cosmonauts are trained to do everything to themselves. Pavel just told me. Uh, they told me. I didn't know that. No, it's Pavel, everyone. Pavel said so. He said it. Leave your angry comments to him if, if he is wrong. A 
That's old, old music, Christoph. That is a telephone that's over 100 years old. That guy is getting out of character, how dare he. Maxime, do you like this place? Oh, go. It's a Vilica Britannia. Russia. Russia. Oh, go. Sichas, Max. Sichas. Nagalava. Tosh Pamagi. Oh, go. Wow. Yeah, sympathetic. To be a To be a So I assume these are reprints from the time period. <laughs> different flyers and posters to inspire people to do what they're supposed to do. Weights for the scale so you can decide how much something weighs if you want to perhaps um, sell it at a certain weight, maybe food. So it's not just over a hundred years ago, but there's a certain theme that you may have noticed here that I will not speak of because the algorithm doesn't want me to. I'm with my new friend here at this festival that I just met. She is a Russian who speaks English. Um, I had heard this place is Russia a hundred years ago or more. Um, how could you be more specific? Okay, here, uh, this is a historical reenactment festival and we gathered different times and epochs and periods on, on this one field and we want people to get to know uh, everyday life of people from different periods of time. We can uh, learn the Morse code, we can learn more about medieval cooking and uh, do many uh, other interesting things. This help, helps people get to know their history better. Oh wow, Kristoff. Be strong. Do you need the strap? You're not going to be riding a horse. Oh, go. Wow, Christoph, you look strong. <laughs> Our tour guide here, um, was just telling me that this is actually funded by the city of Moscow. So many of these people are paid, some of them are volunteers, and the idea is to keep uh, the citizens of Russia here educated on their history and their past and have pride in it and know what it feels like. <laughs> Cool. Yeah, I've seen Inception.
What is this, Pavel? I don't know how it in English we say Valchok for the smallest one, simplest one, and the Kubar for the most complex one. You can just say tabletop games. Tabletop. Yes, yes. I'm a simple man. <laughs> to level top, table top one you should start it using the string. The second level is to push it forward. Because the, but it's interesting that the first event is the one with the rope and then with the one without the rope. Sounds like a yo-yo to me. Yeah, it, it looks like a yo-yo. Quickly and oh, yeah. I did it once. Stronger. Yeah. Uh, I need to be a man. Faster, yeah. stronger. <laughs> Hit it. Like that? <laughs> Isn't that gonna mess it up? Чтобы она в принципе продолжала крутиться все это время. Давай с тобой еще разок. Сейчас. Oh, go, it's a девушка. Kristoff, what are you doing? Are you going to beat a woman with a bag? Somebody talk to Kristoff. He's beating girls. Oh, he lost. He lost. Oh, no. Looks like Kristoff won, so he gets to go again. Oh. The day Kristoff beat girls. Oh. Looks like the Russian man is coaching Kristoff how to win. And it did not help. Pavel Silny. Maxim is very smartly backing up out of the way. No. To the left side. Okay. That's how to do it. Do it to the left side. Uh, but I'm, I'm not that way. Max found something that he likes to do here. Maxim, solution Devishka. I moved here over a year ago with my wife and five kids, and then sanctions began, and I chose to stay when a lot of other people were leaving. Was that a mistake? Was it bad timing for me to come here and choose to live here in Moscow? I will. My Russian wife will help me.
да, вот. Времена у всех. Да, да. Она, она по разным временам. И вот там шикарные резиновые фигурки разных персонажей. Do you recognize this train station? So Christoph, what do you think of this place? Uh, it, it's good. Is it like Russia or like America? Uh, like Russia. <laughs> Have you been to anything like this before? This train is a recreation, and Pavel told me it is completely made of plywood. Oh, красиво, да? Pavel, did you grow up as a Soviet boy or a Russian boy? <laughs> uh, I was born in USSR, so a very hard question. What's the difference between USSR and Russia? Well, it, perhaps for in, you nothing, but yes. for the West perhaps something. But uh, how to differ? Like, uh, If you're saying I'm a Russian, I was born in Russia, but Russia was a part of USSR, so I was born as a USSR kid. Mm -hmm. it's very so you're common. both? Yes. And did they have festivals like this when you were growing up that you um, could go to? No, no. Uh, in the late USSR times and the early Russian Russian government times, there is nothing like nothing. No kids playgrounds. Nothing was happening. Everyone was very poor, trying to survive, to find the food, to find the job, to do whatever they wanted, just to. Uh, rise next to see the next sunrise then that's it so it something like terrible. the great depression in america in the 20s mm, yeah. Yeah. maybe harder much harder wow but you have two kids now russian only kids yes and they get to go to these things regularly living in moscow oh uh, yeah we're trying to visit something that is interesting and fun at the same time and these festivals of reconstruction the old era old times is very very cool i love it very much plus it happens in the uh, public park so the nature everything the fields the forest is uh, very good for atmosphere for immersion right right it's an incredible way to teach history yes to your children and make it come not alive only explain but to show right what right. was happening there is a sign saying Dacha's life Dacha is life no, not his life Dacha's life oh Dacha life like an American might say beach life есть прибавка Прибавка – это значит, надо удвоить ставку. Каждую. Некоторым удобнее вот так вот. Но э, слишком легко. Хорошо. О, да. да, да, да. Надо его воткнуть. Да. Да, да, да. Я промахнулся. Ваш ход. You ready, Kristoff? Yes. Does that count? It, it, you can, you can it do has it to boom into the ground. Yeah. Okay, here we go. But if you hit it, you can do it again. You can do it again. Ah. No, you missed. Oh, I missed. Oh. Yes. yes. Beats Silni scene. Oh. Молодец! Kristoff and Pavel are better than me. Maxim Tocic? Maxim T. Da da da, молодец, Max. Сейчас. Молодец, ти умни, ти сильни. Da 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 da, супер герой. 
Yeah. Oh, oh go Mala oh, Dance. Uh, I got in this one. You got uh, it in the, the tiniest one? one? Yes. Nice. You won the game. What do you think of this festival that Moscow is putting on here? Leave a comment, click like, subscribe, ring the bell notification, interrupt my speech, and send this to your friends, and click the box to see what happens next. sacrifice his wife to this brutal teenage girl. Oh! Oh, <laughs> she's losing it. <laughs> <laughs>